That's French Baker. That most quick. It's another crappy shooter. <laughs> With horrible hitboxes. And there's like a giant rabbit ear antenna. Oh, and we're clearly a copy off of the uh, asteroid ship. Is that death? Oh, it's not. Wait, what? <laughs> Very confused right now. Okay, those are death from like certain angles. Yeah, those are very literally death from only certain angles. Like, it takes dedicated effort to make something that nonsensical. Especially with this, like, limited palette of why did I save? I don't want to live. These freaking ice cream cones are trying to kill me anyway. Damn you, ice cream! You've destroyed my entire galaxy. Now I must get revenge. There are tentacle things emerging from the space highway. Don't remember those being here before. Must be those damn ice cream cones. Damn ice cream cones. They destroy everything. Nothing is safe from the ice cream. There are only two enemies in this entire game. If the levels were shorter, that would be nice. Because I would at least like to be able to say, hey, I got to level two. Oh my god, I did. It is a miracle. The tentacles are upside down, and these random hitboxes of death are different. Oh my god, there are three kinds of ice cream now. They are freaking rivaling um, that ice cream chain. Baskin and Robbins? I don't... Not a big ice cream aficionado. I totally had it in my mind there. You know, the 52 flavors crap. Anyway, this game, right up there. Three flavors of ice cream. So... Yeah. <laughs> Did anyone play this and, like, think this was a good investment? Or, like, actually play this for fun? Did anyone enjoy any of this? Has anyone beaten all of these games? Someone out there surely has. And I would like to shake that person's hand. Though they're probably committed to a mental institution. But I mean, with the world of safe states and all of that, someone must have beaten all of it. I mean, people do amazingly insane stuff with good games, so maybe people will actually play. Oh my god, it's level 3. It's so hard to die in this thing that I didn't even realize I was winning. But, is that a fourth flavor of ice cream? This is so monumental that I must simply kill myself. Thank you. That was that Quake. Um, oh, there we go. Meong. Meong. What the hell? <laughs> what is this? What? I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> what? I'm doing that again. What the hell is this? What? I just die for no reason at all. I'm A52. What? No. Um, well, I want to, like, try and understand what is going on. I need to understand this A52 and why it feels the need to go north. Is it traveling north to mate? Is it seeking warmer waters? Or is it running from a weird highway of bumps and holes? Or is it randomly exploding on completely normal tiles? What the hell, man? I think this is the worst one. 
Because I literally can't understand what the hell that I don't even, I can't explain. I'm pacifier. And there are a bunch of pentagrams and teddy bears. I'm shooting, um, stars at, or like baby pacifiers, smaller pacifiers. Oh god, horrific doll monsters. Get away from me. Good lord. These things will fle feast upon my flesh in hell. Oh my god, paperclip, no! Paperclips. Why did it have to be the paperclips? Anyway. One day, a lone pacifier decided to brave the sea of teddy grams and horrific dull monsters to head north to um, seek warmer waters with the uh, triangle ship. Or no, that was the A-52. Decided to go mate with the A-52. Society says they're wrong, but it's society that is wrong. For their love knows no bounds. Oh, those things actually shoot at you. I don't know what the hell they're supposed to be. They're like A's. I think that's enough of this. Kill me. That's enough. No! No! No. Good. Why does it keep... Never mind. Wait. Was that Space Dreams or Crybaby? Okay, that was Space Dreams. I was thinking that must have been Crybaby, but no. Um... What the hell? Oh, I have a grappling hook. That's the best play mechanic I've seen instituted so far. Aw, oh, sad face. I like killed him and he's all sad face. And I'm like stuck in the floor. Um, okay, there we go. There's a rabbit in a hat! Can I like, get you? <laughs> I can shoot across the screen. That's pretty epic, and I can't get this rabbit in a hat. Sad face. Sad face. You know, this game makes me sad face. Those balloons make me happy face, though. Oh no, clowns! Not the clowns. What's with the sad faces? I get money and I all like sad face. Then I die, and I'm all, like, double sad face. So, vaguely sad face related story. Today I was using my handwriting recognition in my tablet, and it kept... I was trying to make a, like, tongue out face, and it kept thinking I was making in, like, a sad face. But, like, there's an actual character for that in the font set, and I thought that was sort of funny. I thought it was funny that the handwriting recognition was actually doing fairly well because it was recognizing it like a little face thingy. And why doesn't this game end? I'm in hell. I'm like a small child who is a very naughty boy and his birthday party is a bunch of clowns going to murder him. But he deserved it because he was a naughty child. Anyway. Spread fire. It's gonna be another shooter? Yes it is. There's that same laser noise. I think. <laughs> Once again I can avoid I can put too many sprites on the screen. Oh. And what's with the glitch? The glitchiness? Like, amazingly, there haven't been many glitches at all in this game. Just, like, horrific terribleness. Maybe that's, like, intentional there. Oh my god, level 2. That was incredibly short level. They should all be this short. And what is my, like, ship even supposed to be? Die, you, um, tape recorder. I got the tape recorder, or something. I don't know.
Sorry, I like how that this is a new level, but they didn't even change the backdrop. That's a really nice touch. You don't see that in many games. You also don't see, like, the non-spawning enemies. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? It's like a pair of maracas and a tape recorder. Oh god, they're on my level now? No! Okay, I've had enough of this. There we go. That was spread fire. Stop bringing me back to ooze. Bubblegum Rosie. Oh, there's just a space. I thought the name was different. I guess technically it is. I shoot giant bubblegums from my chest. What, what is that? I'm sure that will kill me. And once again, I can't press forward in day. And I can stand on spikes. Spikes don't hurt. That's good to know. And these are like gumball machines, probably. Why do I have an attack if it doesn't hurt anything? Okay, I guess it hurts those. Oh, I'm dead. We uh, Let me jump. Oh, I killed it by, like, touching it. Half of these games seem to have, like, health, but they don't give you a health meter or anything. But I like how none of them at all seem to have, like, text anywhere. Ow. That was enough of that one. Micro Mike! What the hell? Well, this is surprisingly fast-paced. This might actually make for a sort of fun game if you like fast-paced crap, but with all of the stuff around, like the monsters or the ships, like I don't see how you could last for very long. You seem to have health of some sort, even though there's absolutely no indication of health. And I take back what I said, this game is really quite expectably terrible. But, like, it's actually fast paced, which was not. I was not expecting that. Underground! This is gonna be a Dig Dug ripoff? Oh, not really. How? Let's kill those skulls with uh, Chinese triangle hats. I have no idea what the hell those are called, but that's like what they're wearing. How am I supposed to get... How am I supposed to get up there and like not die? And I spin when I die. Oh, you can shoot them when you're falling down. Oh, those are... Those mushrooms killed me. I took some bad psychedelic mushrooms and now I'm dead. Actually, I took some bad psychedelic mushrooms, and now I'm playing this game, so... Sort of wish they killed me instead. And... Die! Oh my god, I lived. And this... Wow. They killed me from on the ladder. That's enough of that. Rocket Jock! E. <laughs> He's riding a frickin' missile with a lasso, and he's shooting lasers. This is a thousand times cooler that, than anything in this game has to be. And he's shooting frickin' cows in space. This is the best thing that could possibly be in this game. Oh my god, it's Nega Cow. Pew. Up. Oh. Wow, that was really quick. So, wait, am I, like, lassoing the cows when I shoot them? They seem to be like, oh, ow. They're, like, assuming the hog tie position when I kill them. Or the more, yeah, they are. You're, like, hog tying them with lasers. That's, that's, that's pretty awesome. Hog tying via lasers in space. This game is way better than anything in F F Action 52 has any right to be. Because hog tie lasers in space. Just try to comprehend how awesome that is. But yeah, the game itself is actually really terrible, so let's die. Oh, I accidentally lassoed him. There we go. Oh, 